Hi, I'm Lauren Dragon, and I write about headphones and audio gear for Wirecutter. We all want gadgets that are rugged or impervious to rain, sweat, and swimming, and luckily, we're seeing more and more companies that are making their products water resistant. The problem is, it's hard to know just how durable any given gadget can be. So let's sort all this out. There's actually a standardized third-party system for rating products according to how resistant to moisture and dust they are. It's called the IPX rating system. You might have seen certain gadgets that are advertised as having a certain IPX rating or another, but you ever wonder how this system works and what it actually means? We'll clear that up for you. IP, or ingress protection, is an international standard that rates just how sealed an electrical enclosure is from the intrusion of outside materials, so specifically dust and water. Independently certified labs can test a device and give it a rating. And a product doesn't have to be IP rated to be considered water or dust resistant, but seeing that IP rating gives you some assurance that the claims that the manufacturer is making is based on some actual testing. So when you look at an IP rating, you're gonna see two numbers. The first one is all about dust, and that scale is one to seven. The second is all about water, and the scale is one to nine. The higher the number, the better the protection. So as far as dust is concerned, unless you're like mountain biking or taking your gear to the beach a lot, the most important factor you wanna consider is water resistance. Now the ratings for water resistance are a little bit more subtle and specific. So a one is water dripping for 10 minutes directly from above. So essentially just like this. And two is from a 15 degree angle. Three is a spray of water, while the, the device is rotated for 60 degrees and it's with five minutes afterwards, if it still works, it's fine. Four is a splash of water from any direction, and then after five minutes, shake it dry and it should still work. Five is three gallons a minute from any direction from like a super soaker sized hose. And six is a wide stream of water about a regular size hose width for about three minutes. Do we have a hose? No. Okay. Well, we're not gonna do that, but seven is where it gets really fun because seven is the immersion of water for 30 minutes, about a meter deep. So essentially, just drop it on in. So what does this mean when you're shopping? If you're using gear outside and you want protection from the occasional rain shower or something like that, we recommend to find something that's IPX3 or above, or it's rated as water resistant. So some popular examples of that would be these Plantronics Backbeat Go 410, the Apple AirPods, and the Beats X. But be careful because Apple and Beats aren't IP rated. Although they claim mild water resistance, you still might be held on the hook if something goes wrong, if they get really, really wet and you want to make a warranty claim for something. But if you're gonna be doing a lot of stuff that's gonna get you really sweaty, or you're gonna be in the rain a lot, or you're worried about getting caught in, a, I don't know, a torrential downpour or something, you might wanna throw them in your bag or look for something that's rated IP4 sweat resistant or above. So good examples of those would be like the Jaybirds, the Jabra Elite Active 65T, and these Plantronics. So all of these guys are gonna be great if you wanna go to the gym. You can sweat on them and let them dry and they'll be fine. And of course, if you wanna go swimming, IP7, the Braggy Dash Pro, the SwimBud Sport, or the JBL Clip 2. So here's the thing. Even though these things are all rated, and no matter how high the rating, there's always gonna be limits to water resistance. So please, let your gadgets dry thoroughly in between charging and uses. Never plug in your device when it's wet. And these ratings only apply to clear, fresh water. So salt water, soda, shampoo, conditioner, other liquids like that can actually still cause problems for your device. So feel free to soak in a tub or rinse off in the shower with your waterproof headphones, but please take them out when you lather, rinse, and repeat. And also, wash your ears. For more about our waterproof picks for headphones and other audio gear, visit wirecutter.com. And for more Wirecutter videos, don't forget to subscribe I, I love that meme that was going around for a while that it was like some, it's just like the shot of the perspective of someone looking at a screen being like, and don't forget to click those subscribe. And he's like, oh! <laughs> <laughs>